Hello, St. Paul's. From grade six on, I stayed at school for lunch, and there was a regular daily question that was asked at lunchtime. What have you got? It happened every day. We went to our lockers, we got our lunches, we came back to the tables, and as soon as we started opening bags and lunch boxes, people were asking, what have you got? Some of it was just curiosity, but a lot of it was people looking to make a trade. Trade a sandwich for a Twinkie, trade an apple for some cookies. What have you got? What have you got? Jesus asked that question of his disciples one day. What have you got? We continue looking at the good news about Jesus as we work our way through Mark's gospel. Today we are looking at Mark 6, verses 30 to 49. It is the story of the feeding of the 5,000. Now we do have to note here that the word that is used is the Greek word for man, for a male person. So there were 5,000 male persons, 5,000 men there, which means there were likely a number of women and children there as well. So though the number is 5,000 uh, recorded, it's likely that the number was a fair amount larger than that. Jesus was teaching the people. It was getting late in the day, and it was uh, approaching the evening meal time. And the disciples pointed this out to Jesus, and he said, you give them something to eat. And they were shocked. They were horrified. To feed that many people would take at least the wages of six months, maybe even more. And they couldn't do it. So Jesus asked them, what have you got? And they reported back they had five small loaves of bread and two small fish. And Jesus sat down and he blessed the food and he had his disciples distribute it. We know it was a miracle. Jesus provided food for over 5,000 from five small loaves and two small fish. There's some really interesting things about this. The people were out in the wilderness area. That's like in the Exodus, as the people were working their way through the wilderness to come to the promised land. Jesus had the people sit down in smaller groups, just as Moses had broken the nation into smaller groups. God provided the people with manna, a form of bread, while they were in the desert. Jesus provided them with bread. God provided the people in the Exodus with quail. Jesus provided them with fish. Every step along the way, every item of this story tells us that what Jesus did was exactly the same as what God had done in the Exodus. This story proclaims that Jesus Christ is Lord. It proclaims that Jesus is God. And that's important for us to know, important for us to recognize, and important for us to live, to acknowledge that Jesus is Lord and that he is our Lord, he is my Lord, and live with him as Lord, with his will over and above our own wills. The story also tells us about that question, what have you got? Jesus wanted to know the capacity of his disciples. What could they do? What could they provide? And the answer was that it was very minimal. And Jesus took that minimal offering and multiplied it over and over so that everyone ate and was satisfied. What have you got? Jesus asks us that question today. And our answer may be that what we have is minimal, but Jesus can take that and multiply it over and over and over again if we just offer it to him, if we recognize him as Lord and offer to him what we have. Jesus can do amazing, fantastic things with that. So let us praise and worship Jesus because he is Lord and because he takes our humble offerings and does amazing things with them. Let's pray. Our God, we thank you for Jesus' miracle of feeding the 5,000. We thank you that he was able to take a humble, meager offering and turn it into so much. And we thank you that this story reminds us and proclaims that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he is God. Bless us to live that. Bless us to live with Jesus as Lord. Bless us to live making our offering to Jesus, that he might take it and multiply it over and over. Our God, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
The Lord bless you and keep you.